Hi, Dr. Dolly. This is Sam from the Midwest. It's my understanding ETFs are more tax efficient than mutual funds. Is this mostly in reference to actively managed mutual funds with a higher turnover rate as opposed to broadly diversified indexed mutual funds? Is there much of a tax difference between VTSAX and VTI? Why would you choose one over the other? Thanks for all you do. Okay, great question. Uh, It's actually more than one question. Let's talk about actively managed versus passively managed when it comes to tax efficiency. Okay, A passively managed or index fund, whether that be a traditional mutual fund or an ETF, as a general rule, will be more tax efficient than an actively managed one. And the reason why is because the turnover's lower. The less you're buying and selling stuff in there, the fewer capital gains, both short-term and long-term, that are being realized. And so, you know, when you look at something like the total stock market index fund, you see the turnover is 4%. You know it's going to be really tax efficient. I mean, these Vanguard funds, the total stock market index fund, whether you're looking at the mutual fund or the ETF or whatever, they haven't distributed a capital gain in like 20 plus years. Okay. You know, you have mutual funds in a taxable account, you'll notice that they send dividends, but a lot of them also send a capital gain and it's a pass through capital gain. You didn't sell anything, but the fund was selling some of the stocks inside it and you got to pay your share of those capital gains each year. And that's not very tax efficient when you have to do that. And so it's good to have a very low turnover mutual fund to minimize that. Okay. So that's, that's the benefit of passive investing, particularly in a taxable account. Now, when it comes to a traditional mutual fund and ETF, you got to understand how an ETF is made and how a share of an ETF is destroyed or broken down. Because what this ETF manager can do is when it's time to get rid of a share of ETF, they don't have to sell the stocks themselves. They can pay or give, you know, instead of, uh, you know, cash, they can give shares of stock that the ETF owns to these companies, these authorized participants that put together ETF shares and break them apart, right? This is a mechanism in the market. They try to make a few cents in arbitrage doing it. Um, But basically that's their role is to form these. And because of the ability of this ETF to distribute capital gains in that way, right? It gives the appreciated stock shares, not not the high basis ones, it gives the low basis ones. And so that helps make the ETF more efficient. A traditional mutual fund can't do this. And so in that respect, the ETF wrapper, the ETF framework, the ETF model is more tax efficient than the mutual fund model. So if given the choice in a taxable account, and, uh, you know, between, you know, even an index, low cost, passive, um, low turnover uh, mutual fund versus the equivalent in an ETF, the ETF is going to be a little bit more tax efficient. Okay? At Vanguard, they have a special patent. It actually just expired. So hopefully we see other companies doing this soon now too. But their ETF is simply a share class of the mutual fund. So VTSAX is the traditional mutual fund. Um, VTI is the ETF share class, just like they used to have investor share classes and admiral share classes and you know institutional share classes. ETF is another share class of that fund. And they can use that ETF share class to flush the capital gains out of the entire fund. So at Vanguard, you should expect the ETF to be about as efficient as the mutual fund. They're pretty similar. But when you go to other companies, the ETFs are slightly more tax efficient. So you ought to consider that in a taxable account if you're using non-Vanguard ETFs. Um, And uh, so, you know, I I do tend to, but only because it's a little bit more convenient to stick with one or the other. And I went to ETFs for some of our share classes. And so I've kind of gone to ETFs or for some of our asset classes, I've gone to ETFs for almost all of our asset classes. I think our uh, municipal bond fund is still a traditional mutual fund, but uh, the rest are, are ETFs in our taxable account. But there's nothing wrong with an ETF. There's nothing wrong with a traditional index fund. Um, you just got to realize that they're, they're slightly different. And uh, if you care about the differences, dive into them and understand them. The hosts of the White Coat Investor are not licensed accountants, attorneys, or financial advisors. This podcast is for your entertainment and information only. It should not be considered professional or personalized financial advice. 
you should consult the appropriate professional for specific advice relating to your situation.